Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from Phonedog.com. Smile, you're on TV. Well, not really. But uh, I just want to say thanks to the folks at Samsung for lending me this handy-dandy full HD camcorder. See, it says right there, full HD, 1080p. So we can uh, experiment with doing some phone dog videos in HD. So let us know what you think in the comments. HD, is it worth it? Does it matter? Do you care? Let us know. All right, let's get on to the dog fight. So in some ways, this dog fight's kind of like the past against the future. I mean, not quite, because the iPhone obviously still has a future, but you know, it, next to the hero, the iPhone in, in some ways looks kind of more like the past than, uh, than what's coming. But that doesn't necessarily mean that Hero's quite ready for prime time. What the heck am I talking about? Well, let's get in closer. Let's get a closer look and we'll show you. iPhone 3GS on the left, HTC Hero on the right. Both phones are running right now on AT&T here in the United States. Uh, the Hero is an unlocked version, does not have North American 3G banding. So it's running on 2G only, on Edge and GSM, whereas the iPhone 3GS is running on 3G on AT&T. Uh, both phones also have Wi-Fi and are connected via Wi-Fi. You can see up there on the top the little Wi-Fi indicators. Um, I've had the iPhone 3GS for a little over a month now. I've had the Hero for a little under a week now. So, um, you know, I might be a little more familiar with iPhone, but uh, I've been using the Hero as my personal phone for uh, since I got it for about a week now. And um, basically, in a nutshell. I think there's a ton of potential with Hero. Uh, Android is starting to come into its own a little bit more, and HTC did really bang up job with the Sense UI. But uh, it's a little bit slow, a little bit laggy, a little bit buggy, but I I've had bug problems with the iPhone as well. So I'm gonna, that's kind of a push for me as far as you know actual freezes and crashes. But Hero is kind of laggy, and so that makes it hard for me to recommend using it right now as is. Uh, as a day-to-day -day phone. That being said, I've talked to HTC. They're working on optimizations, software optimizations, to reduce the lag. And then uh, there are rumors flying around about an American, a North American version, an American version of this phone coming to Sprint uh, in time for the holiday shopping season. So within the next few months, again, that's just a rumor. Nothing, uh, you know, solid on that. But uh, we may be seeing Hero coming to Sprint in the U.S. in a CDMA version. That being said, we'll get into the phones. Both phones have capacitive touch displays. Uh, both phones are multi-touch enabled as well. You can see iPhone is generally bigger, a little bit taller, a little bit wider. The screen's a little bit bigger. Uh, if you look on the back, the Hero has a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus iPhone 3GS has a 3.2 megapixel camera with autofocus. Both of them also do video recording. Uh, the camera's honestly kind of a push. Uh, they're both pretty standard, you know, I, I'd say above, slightly above average camera, uh, cell phone cameras, camera phone cameras. Uh, the Hero has more megapixels, but unless you're printing photos out, it, megapixel count doesn't matter. If you're just doing online sharing and that kind of thing, they're both good. Uh, the video capture on the iPhone's a little bit better iPhone's uh, spot focus and auto white balance thing actually kind of works a little bit. Um, you know, it's a little better than I thought it would be, and uh, just in general, the, the process of capturing and sharing videos a little tiny bit easier on iPhone, not really much though. Um, iPhone, you can see this version is a 32 gigabyte version. The 3GS comes in 16 and 32 gigabyte versions, so iPhone has a leg up there. Uh, no card slot. Hero, on the other hand, your storage is basically via micro SD card. The slot is hidden under the battery cover. Um, so there you go. Go back to the home screens. And basically the big, you know, the in a nutshell here, the difference between these two phones, uh, aside from the hardware, just, you know, things running faster and more smoothly on the iPhone, I think because of a combination of hardware and, you know, it sounds like maybe some software upgrades. Uh, the biggest thing, you know, between these phones is the operating system. iPhone obviously runs Apple's iPhone OS. This is version 3. Um, it's got the multiple home screens. It's got the universal search you can see here. The uh, Hero runs Android, but with HTC Sense UI. So it's got uh, actually seven home screens that you can scroll between. You can see on the bottom there, that little indicator lets you know that little tab that's moving, lets you know which home screen you're on. And you can set these up and customize them as you want. So, um, you know, I've got this set up. So I've got a main home screen with some shortcuts. I've got a favorites list. 
Uh, I can customize who this is, so these are my phone dog people, and in the favorites list you can see it tells me when I have something unread. Uh, so from Aaron there, I've got one notice of something unread. Uh, Tom, I've got two down there. Uh, you can also, um, it's got the Android drawer, so you can go to your all programs there, back and forth. You can hit the plus button to add something to your home. So it's got um, separated between HTC widgets and Android widgets. The HTC widgets, of course, are what they did um, for the Sense UI. And then you've got your notifications bar up on top, so you can pull that down and you can see, you know, I've got new unread emails and you get notifications from other programs as well. And that's where I think Android in general and then HTC Sense UI in particular have a big leg up on iPhone and iPhone's got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, similar with Palm Pre and the web OS is that the whole just you know as a communications device you've got more options going on here and more ways to stay informed and stay in touch with what's going on with people via emailing, SMS, social networking, all that kinds of stuff. You've got your notifications, just, just more flexibility with the home screen. And Apple, it's basically just, you know, buttons that take you to programs. Everything's program based on iPhone. You're running basically one program at a time with the exception, you know, of the iPod you can keep running in the background. Uh, we'll just start that up and then while that's playing you know I can keep the iPod running in the background and I can do other stuff and then I can get into my iPod there but that's basically it whereas with Android you know you can have multiple things running in the background my email you know notifies me you know the iPhone will notify me with that little button down there on the bottom but it's not going to update um, unless I have the mobile me push set up, which I don't, just out of the box, it's not going to update unless I go into the mail app. Whereas here, it'll let me know when I have, on the Android, let me know if I have new email messages. Same thing if I'm logged into a Twitter account or, you know, uh, other things as well. But one of the big things that I like about Android in general and about the HTC Sense UI in particular is the way it deals with people. So I can have my favorites here and I can click on Aaron and then I can say, you know, do I want to send him a message or not? And there's an HTC email account as or email program as well as the Gmail program, which I'll get into in a little bit. I hate the Android Gmail stock Gmail app. The HTC mail app is a little bit better. Um, but I can go in also, and I can see from Aaron that I've got a notification that he sent me a message in my Gmail account. I've got a message waiting from Aaron, and. Uh, you know, it's titled Whose Hands Are They? Uh, a reference to um, some funny YouTube comments. Uh, updates and events, I can go in, it pulls from Aaron, I can link to Aaron's Facebook profile if I want to, I'll show you more on that in a second. I can see Aaron's photo albums if he has any up on Facebook or Flickr. I can see our text messages if we have any, and I can see his general information. Uh, and so just, you know, it's, it's a little more people-centric. You can just kind of see a little more of what's going on with your people who are important to you. They're from Tom. I've got two unread email messages from Tom, and it lists them for me. And just nice, I can kind of see at a glance, you know, with my favorites, with the people who I communicate with the most, you know, it tells me right away when I have communications from them, whether they're via email or text message or whatnot. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. For some people, it's not going to matter. They would prefer to have, you know, the iPhones... Uh, more robust iPod and gaming applications, and and they don't need all the like up to the date, inf up to the minute information, or they're fine with iP iPhones kind of more um, more limited, more uh, simple, more simplified, simpler. There you go. Thanks. With iPhones, simpler push notification system, which just gives you kind of an overlay on top when something happens. Uh, but you know the the HTC system here, it's really advanced, and uh, I just think it, it's it's just a more robust smartphone operating system, and, and it's pretty cool. Now, when you go into the People, the main People app, you can get that for all of your contacts, and it pulls them down out of the cloud if you've got a, a Google account, which is neat. Um, but then, what's kind of neat on this is now you can link it to your social networks. So I've got this link to my Facebook account, and it will automatically update uh, what people who have my contacts who have Facebook profiles, it'll update for me what they've been doing. And for somebody like me, that's actually really cool because I haven't used Facebook much in a while because I just, I've come to hate it. I just don't like going to the website. It's just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not feeling Facebook right now. But what's neat about this is that, you know, I set up my Facebook account just to see what was going on and, um, and it pulls down these updates for me and that way I can kind of stay in touch because I still do have a lot of friends who use Facebook regularly and it shows me what they're doing 
uh, right on the phone without having to go to the Facebook website. And then if I want to, I can click through to see more. And it actually showed me the other day, I had a friend who had a birthday coming up. So there's one right now. I have a, a friend, Randy, who's got a birthday coming up, and it updates me on that, which is pretty neat. So I like what they've done, what HTC's done, linking to some of the online social networks. You can also link to a Flickr account. Um, and I would imagine they'll be adding more support later. And, of course, Twitter. Uh, there's a, an HTC application on here for Twitter called Peep. Uh, you can see it right up there. And there's, whoops, I hit the wrong button. And there's also uh, a Peep widget that'll run in the background as well.